Depression is 80 degrees. So the height of the ramp to the ground is 9 meters, and we'll find the distance or the opposite side. So to get the opposite side or the distance, so we'll press tangent, and the angle of depression, which is 80 degrees, multiplied by the height, which is 10 meters. So the distance of the right triangle will be 51 meters. So we are going to find the height and on finding the height, let's say that this is the ramp of the SP building and this one is the ground and this one will serve as the post. So in finding the height, we must first put tangent and the angle of depression which is 80 degrees which will equal to opposite and adjacent because that is the formula for the trigonometric ratio of tangent. And in this situation, our opposite is the ground and the adjacent is the height which we are finding. Then x will equal to 51 meters over tangent 80 degrees. Then after you divide that, x will equal to 8.99 meters or rounding off, it will measure to 9 meters. So therefore, the height will be equal to 9 meters. Many, many minutes later. We are going back to the A type to show how to use the clinometer and also to tell you the meaning of angle of depression. So we are now here at the A type. Alright, this is the A type. And we are going upstairs. So what is angle of depression? Angle of depression is the downward angle from the horizontal to the line of sight from the observer to some point of interest. The angle formed by the line of sight and the horizontal plane for an object below the horizontal. I will show you how to use the clinometer. So, in angle of depression, in using the clinometer, first go to half one, which is the measuring. You must 
first find the distance from your position to your object. In step 2, so in using the polynometer, you must point the scope at the top of the object that you are trying to find the height of. So next step is finding the angle measure. So in finding the angle measure, you must first record the angle given on the polynometer. Then after that, subtract the number from 50 degrees to find the angle measure. So in step 4, finding the height, Find the tan of that angle measure, then multiply it by the distance from the object to get the height. From your eyes, from the top of the object. Then, measure the height from the ground to the eyes of your clinometer holder, then add it to that height to get the total height. Lastly, we are going to compute it and to get the total value of what we are finding. And that's it for today's vlog! So, in looking at this, you will see the, you will see this washer, this washer. <laughs> Joy color. Conca girl. So, watch it. That you want to get. Kasa mo yung sinasabi ko. Wait lang. Pahina, pahina. Wait lang, hindi. We're in the given. 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 We're in the